art friends, welcome back for another lesson. In the wintertime, one of the rare animals that you see out and about are birds hunting for food. And often these birds are really beautiful. My favorite are the cardinals that are bright red. And occasionally you'll also see a robin that has a beautiful red face and red breast. So we're going to do a really pretty art project with two robins who are reunited after flying a long, long way to find each other. And it's all based on a book that I love called Coming Home by Michael Marpugo, illustrated by Carrie Hindman. Come my heart and come my wings, fly, fly before the cruel snows, Carry me, carry me home. I must be on my way, on my way. Safe in the shadows, safe among trees, darting, flitting, swooping, and soaring. Onwards, upwards, long way to go. Get there I must, get there I will, I will. Out of the forest, into the daylight, over the fields, follow the valleys, Find the river, my river will guide me. Be strong, my wings, beat fast, beat on. Dream of home, think only of her, waiting for me, looking for me, longing for me. Beat my wings, beat faster. Easy, my heart, go steady, steady. Dark clouds gather over mountain peaks, a rumble and roaring of thunder. Lightning flashes and crackles. A hard, hard rain batters down, down. Make for the bank, for a sheltering tree. Will these weary wings keep me flying? Heavy my wings and heavy my heart. Will I ever see my home again? Lift me, lift me, perched here at last. Safe and sound from storm and rain, let feathers dry, let thunder pass. Rest my heart and rest my wings and sleep. Wings awake, feathers dry, strong again. Over the mountains, over the sea, long way to fly, no rest there. One last drink and I'm ready to go, ready to go. Sleep still in my head, I drink deep, drink too long. Hear the wind of his wings, the hawk shriek above, coming after me, eyes burning, talons raking, claws at my neck. Turn, twist, dodge, weave, dive, break free, fly from him, only just. Take me home, wings, carry me home. She's longing for me, looking for me. Ahead I see great mountain peaks above the swirling clouds. Beat strong, my wings, beat strong. Over the mountains at last, on I fly through the falling snow, driving snow, a blinding blizzard. Find somewhere to hide fast, must rest, must shelter myself from the snow, from the cold. Here I must wait for the skies to clear, for the wind to calm, but stay too long and cold will kill. Then a hush of birds fills the sky, a flock of field fares calling me, join us, join us. We fly together, sing together, chat together, land in a field to feed, rest my wings and my heart. Each of us on the lookout for each other, out over sun dancing sea, homeward bound. A rolling sea fog ahead covers us, hides us, from one another, from the sea, from the sky, flying blind in a world of white, lost and quite alone. How high, how long, where am I? I am spinning, tumbling, falling. Lift my wings, take sudden flight, dart through surf, claws skimming the sea. This raging sea below me, a wide, wild sea still to cross. Tired now, so tired. Then below me, a blessed boat. 
a blessed, beautiful, bobbing boat, a home for me on the wild, wide sea. Down I go. The deck pitches and rocks, rises and falls. Judge the land and get it just right. Perch, cling on, but breaking waves sweep me away. Down onto the deck, rolls me over and over, helpless now, until, until, I look up and see one big boot and then two big hands reaching for me and then nothing. Waking from my dreams, dreams of her, of home, warm all through, my feathers dry. Easy to be happy here, they give me a drink and raisins. I grow strong again, ready to go, must go. Flutter to the window, flutter to the door. They know I have to go. Cupped in kindest hands. Off you go, little bird, off you go. Waved away, cheered away, full of thanks on my way. I'm coming home. And I know my way, too. Feel it in my bones, in my wings, in my heart. A shining sea below me, calmer waters, sandy shores, crying seagulls. Farms and fields below me now, homeland, but not home, not yet. Will she be there? Will she be waiting? To see her, be with her is all I long for, all I've flown for, not far now. Bring me home, my beating wings. Bring me home, my beating heart. There it is, my garden, my home. But where is she? Where is she? I call for her, but she does not come. Louder, still I call louder. And there she comes, at last, at last. What kept you, she asks me. Oh, this and that, I tell her, this and that. Look at the window, she says, our very best friend. She's been waiting for us too, we've all been waiting. The window opens. What kept you? I was worried sick. He's home, the robin, they're together again. Eating my Christmas bird cake. Come look, Mom. Come see, Dad. I can have a happy Christmas now. We can all have a happy Christmas now. The end. For this project, we are going to draw the two robins that were reunited at the end of our story. So we're going to need a pencil some oil pastels, and at the very end, we'll use a little bit of watercolors to paint the background. So we're gonna start with some easy shapes to build our little robin bodies. So let's start with the robin's head. I'm gonna do one robin right here, and that's about the size of a ping pong ball or a golf ball. And then I'm gonna do another one here. They're gonna face each other. So there are the two heads. And now we're going to draw the bodies. The body is kind of the shape of a lemon. So it's gonna be pointed down in this direction. So watch this, I'm going to start at the top of the body and then I'm going to make a little rainbow shape down. And then I'm going to make a little smile shape coming back up, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing for this robin, except its body is pointing in that direction. So let's make the rainbow shape first. We're gonna start at the back of the head. And we're gonna make a rainbow shape that comes down. And then we're going to make a smile shape that curves back up towards the face. There you go. All right, I'm gonna erase that little line. We don't need that. That might be a little confusing if you can see it. All right, so we've we've got two shapes. They don't look like robins yet. Let's add a few more, more body parts. All right, down at the bottom of the little lemon shape, we're gonna add a tail. And it looks a little bit like a triangle. It comes out, down, and back. We'll do the same thing on this side. Out, down, and back. And then we need to add the wing. So the wing, I think, looks like a leaf. 
So we're gonna start where I think the robin's shoulder should be, just a little bit further down than the head. And it's going to curve down like that. And then we're gonna make a shape that looks, a line that looks almost the opposite of it. So we're gonna curve this one this way and come to a point. Let's try that again. We'll curve it down and then we'll curve it down the other way. Good. Now I'm gonna erase any extra lines that I can see inside that wing. Let's go back to the head and work on the head. Of course, we need our little bird to have a beak. So I'm gonna start with a pointed shape. So that's two parts of a, two sides of a triangle. And then I'm gonna add a backwards V shape there. So see, it almost forms a little diamond, doesn't it? Let's do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna do the little beak, and then I'm gonna do the backwards V shape. And we're going to go almost to the middle of that circle and do a dot for the eye. Good, the last thing I want to do, well, no, it's not the last thing I got ahead of myself. See how we've got a circle and we've got the lemon shape, but I want them to look like they're all part of the same body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the circle and then when I get to almost the edge, I'm gonna curve it so that it connects with the back. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. I'm gonna follow the edge of the circle and then curve it so it connects to the front. Let's do that on this robin too. Over the back of the head and curve it to connect with the body. Down the front and curve it to connect to the front. All right, you know what they're missing. They need some legs. So let's give them two little sticks for legs. And then a robin has three little toes that point forwards and one that points backwards. Like that. This one's gonna be pointed towards its buddy here. One, two, three, and then backwards. One, two, three, and then backwards. All right, they look cute. Now we just need to add a line so we know where the snow is and we know where the sky is. So back behind our robins, I'm going to draw a line that jumps over the robins. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go, 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 stop, jump over the robin, keep going, go, 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 stop, jump over the robin, keep going. That's called a horizon line. That's where the sky meets the ground and that'll help us decide where to paint. Now that we've got the outlines of our birds, let's go ahead and color them in. The first color I'm going to find is a gray. So let's get a gray color. And um, the bottom of the belly is gray. See that, you can see that teeny tiny picture. We have a lot of red that we have to fill in, but we're gonna do a little gray first. We're gonna start right here where the feet touch the body. This part is gray, and then right next to the wing, it continues to be gray up, 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 until you reach the head. So see how I'm leaving this part empty? That's gonna be red, but all this is gray. Let's do the same thing on this one. So we're gonna start where the legs connect to the body and color that in gray. And then we're gonna go right next to the wing, up, 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 until you get right to the neck. And you're gonna stop right there. Let's pick up our brown and let's color in the wing brown. And when I'm using oil pastels, I like to press down pretty hard because that covers up a lot of the white paper underneath. Let's do this one's wing brown also.
Okay, now that we've done the wing, we can do the tail also. The tail I'm gonna do really long um, pencil marks or marks with my oil pastel. See how I'm going up, down, up, down, all along the tail. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And then finally, we're going to color in the back. I'm gonna outline it first. And I'm gonna outline the top of the head too. So I'm gonna go up the back, right next to that gray. And then I'm gonna color up over the eye. So it's kind of like it's wearing a little helmet. All right, let's do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. Go right next to that gray that we colored in. And then let's add the little helmet part. Good. All right, it's time to find a nice red color. All right, so we're going to do the whole chest and the whole face of our robin in this red color. So I'm outlining the part that I'm gonna color in first. There we go. And then I'm gonna go right next to that gray and then right next to that brown. And you can go right on top of the eye that you drew because you should still be able to see the eye pencil mark that you made showing through. All right, let's do this one. They almost look perfect. We just have a few details left. Let's find our black oil pastel. Let's start by coloring in the beak and I'm gonna try to outline it. The oil pastel kind of doesn't have a sharp point, so it's okay if it doesn't quite stay inside the lines. It will still look wonderful. And then I'm also going to outline the feet and legs. and the eye. All right, our little robins look very good now. I wanna make it snow. So the way that I'm gonna make it snow in my artwork is I'm gonna find a white oil pastel and I'm gonna make snowflakes in the sky with oil pastel. But look at that, see how I have other colors on there? Yeah, I need to clean that before I get started so I don't have those colors on my drawing. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm just going to wipe off my oil pastel so that I can get those other colors off of that white one. You want to have it nice and clean. There we go, see how it cleans up all by itself? All right, so I'm gonna start putting some little dots in the sky and you can't really see them, can you? But, the magical part of adding watercolors to this project is that you will be able to see the snowflakes once we add our watercolors. I'm even gonna see if I can put some dots in front of the robin. It's a little bit harder because the robin's pretty dark. Nope. See, that's what happens when you have a dirty oil pastel. Let's see if I can clean that off. Uh, it's okay. I bet the watercolor will make that go away. Hey, everybody has accidents when they do artwork sometimes, and it's no big deal. It's just for fun, right? We're having fun with it. All right, so I've got little snowflakes all over the sky. It is time to add our sky. So I'm gonna get out my watercolors and I have a bowl with water 
and a paintbrush. I'm gonna get my paintbrush wet. And let's see, I think I'm just going to do solid blue for this one. So I'm going to get my paintbrush wet and stir, stir, stir inside that watercolor pan. And then I'm gonna start painting my sky. What do you see showing up? My snowflakes, they're showing up, I love it. I love the story of the robin trying to fly back home and find the bird that he loves and he left behind. And robins, the robins that they're talking about in the book, they fly from Scandinavia to England every winter to get away from the harsh winters. And that's where they find their mate, the bird that they're going to settle down with. So it's kind of a, a big travel that they do every year. All right, so I'm gonna go all the way down to that horizon line. See how I stopped at the pencil line? And just go stop. And then if I really wanted to, I could take a teeny tiny bit of black and add lots and lots of water see, let me show you that. So I added lots of water to my black paint so it turns to gray. And then I can do just do little shadow underneath the robin so it looks like they're sitting on the ground. There we go. They're happy to be home. They love each other and I love doing this painting with you. I have hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy making your beautiful robins and I hope you see some pretty winter birds outside. That's my favorite part of this time of year. Have a good day. I'll do some art with you next week. Bye-bye.